Thanks for joining this how-to screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, you'll learn how to prepare for guided selling with Salesforce CPQ. So, let's get started. First, let's dive into what guided selling is. Guided selling is a combination of features and concepts to create a powerful experience within Salesforce CPQ that helps sales teams make informed decisions while configuring quotes. It guides reps to the right product selections by using dynamic questions for users to answer at the time of quoting. Guided selling streamlines the sales process, ensuring that you offer the right products, services, and pricing to your customers, ultimately driving higher customer satisfaction and revenue. Now, let's explore the key concepts and components of guided selling in Salesforce CPQ. The CPQ feature of quote processes are referred to as guided selling in documentation, but a true guided selling experience is also achieved with these components in addition to quote processes, product catalog optimization, price books, bundles and product rules, search filters. Now let's take a closer look at each of the components. First is product catalog optimization. This is important because you want to reduce the number of products there are to select from by managing SKU proliferation. This can be done by consolidating time-based SKUs and attribute-based SKUs and using a pricing engine that ensures products will be priced correctly without needing to create specific SKUs for price exceptions. See our videos on pricing or product catalog for more information. Price books define which products are available to be quoted at the most basic level and can be used to segment the product catalog and define prices for a single product in different currencies. It's best practice to minimize the number of price books, and you can do this by leveraging the CPQ pricing engine and other guided selling capabilities. A bundle is a static or configurable collection of products that are sold together. Bundles are an important feature for guiding user behavior. Product rules can be used for validations and selections. They can present a message or prevent a configuration from being saved if some conditions aren't met, or they can go ahead and automatically add or remove products from a bundle. Lastly, we have search filters. Search filters adjust products visible on the product selection page. They match user input to fields on the product object. There are two ways to configure search filters, a field set on any applicable CPQ object, or a custom object that is part of the CPQ package. It's important to note that both methods cannot be used at the same time on the same object. As I mentioned earlier, quote processes is the feature in CPQ that is called guided selling and documentation. Quote processes create a pop-up with a series of prompts for the user. This object defines how the prompt appears and how it adds items based on user input. The quote process record contains a related list of process inputs. These records are the questions and possible answers that the guided selling prompt shows. The process input record contains a related list for process input conditions. You can define process input conditions so that the guided selling prompt only shows the process input in response to the values of other process inputs. This feature is useful if you want to create a complex guided selling prompt that guides users down several paths based on their needs. It also keeps your guided selling prompt organized by showing only required questions. In conclusion, understanding how these concepts and features work together in Salesforce CPQ is a game changer for your sales process. It helps you offer the right products at the right prices, leading to happy customers and increased revenue. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.